Hi guys, it's Clyde and I have another video on how to build my GECE uh, pixel spinners. Um, last year, actually three years ago, I built this spinner and what it is, is it's, uh, it's made out of half inch PVC. I have two T's uh, connectors that are here and then it's connected by a uh, locking washer or uh, uh, one of those nylon uh, screw nuts and a, a bolt that goes that's drilled through both of them and run through. Um, basically, it's a very simple process. These legs are about two feet long each, and what I've done is um, I have wrapped the GE pixels around and I've got them to sit mostly the same way. I have some adjustments to make, and I'll re zip tie them down to make sure they're secure and they don't move during this. Um, one that whenever I put them on the display but for right now they're they're just held in place with a few zip ties and uh, what I wanted to do is I wanted to come along here and I wanted to show you what I'm doing and how I built them um, because everybody asks how you build them so first uh, I want you to see that I have this long green extension cord and this is actually a um, this is actually a green extension cord that you would buy at Walmart or Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever and this is left over from my LOR uh, setup, my LOR display uh, I don't, I have like a whole bunch of these that I don't use anymore and I figure well I'm gonna cut the ends off and I'm gonna solder in place of it one of my three core connectors which is right here and uh, I, since it's a three core wire I just connected them up. Now the main reason for this is I wanted to make sure I was getting the full voltage the whole way from the beginning of the control, so, uh, from the beginning so of I've the got 35 feet away from my E682 control box over there. Now, moving on, what I want you to see is how I have these wired in. Since I started this end and worked my way out, I actually could take them the other way and turn them and work my way in. They could go from there to there or there to there, it doesn't matter. The ones I made last year, I started and ran them from the out position. I was just wanted to see them for good measure whenever I got them done, so I put them on the so I put them on the spoke, uh, spokes on the wheel here. Um, but as you can see, here's my incoming line. And when you're doing GE uh, color effects pixels, what you want to do is you want to look, and it's hard for th this camera to get up close and personal. Uh, you'll see it's ribbed along this line right here. The center line is your data, and then you have this smooth side over here. The difference between the ribbed and the smooth side is the smooth side is your 5 volt positive and the rib side is your neutral. So looking at the pixel going from this way outward, this side of the pixel with the rib side facing towards you is always going to be your input and with with the rib side on if, from the right side this is going to be your output. So whenever you get to the end of the line here, I used 8 pixels, when you get to the end of the line here you want to make sure that you connect your four core wire, which is uh, I'm using. This is I think this is 18 gauge four core wire, and all I'm doing is connecting right there, and running it down here, up over to here, and here's the extension, and it goes right to this one here, and then this runs all the way out to here, and then I'll zip tie that down. I run another wire back to the beginning here, same out to here, all the way in and then out to here and now I'm actually I'm actually working on here's the here's this uh, movement onto the fourth one now what I've done here is I have one two three legs and there's 24 pixels per leg now GE color selects are known for needing power injections so what I did here at the end of the third rung before the beginning of the fourth rung is I added this additional two core, um, two core uh, positive and neutral. Uh, that what I'll do is I'll do the fuel, uh, the um, the uh, injection, the the power injection here. Now I picked up from Ray over in China. I picked up a whole bunch of the um, these two core male and female connectors, and these are perfect. I mean, I could I guess I could use a, a standard wall outlet, but they're not very water protected. So uh, I wanted to make sure I had a good solid connection. So I ordered these. These were wicked cheap per uh, per set. So what I'll do now is eventually I'll just come up with a uh, I'll make an, an extension cord 
that'll run to this and I'll plug it in and what I'll have coming out of my E682 controller here is off of one of the outputs that's extra on the GE uh, the GECEs is a I'll, I'll, I'll pull a, an additional um, 5 volt and a neutral uh, and a neutral off of here put it out through the through the uh, through the string release and then I'll connect up to there because the 682 has a uh, has the um, the what do you call it the the fuse that uh, can protect from overcurrent being drawn into the drawn into these uh, pixels. So I just wanted to take you through. So there's the next step. I'm I'm using actual four core wire. I cut one of them off and I'm only using three of the four cores. And um, this is what they look like whenever they're just sitting here. Um, what I have to do is I have to tin the ends. I have to strip and tin these ends here. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, use some uh, heat shrink tape. I'll cut a couple pieces up and uh, solder those together and heat shrink them together. And then uh, you'll notice that I have the pixels running. As I solder them up and test, I test them as I go to make sure that I have my connections correctly. Uh, put together. Okay, and we're back here, guys. And I just wanted to show you how far we've got. I just added two more legs. And what I did was um, I wired in. I remember I showed you this, this pixel injection here. And it looks like these pixels, these GECEs, are working legs, just fine. Times eight pixels, six times eight is 48. That's about two sets of GE. CEs, and I wanted to see how the power injection, uh, if I needed to do any power injecting. So I will come over here to Nutcracker, and the uh, way to test for power injection, or the, the way to, to really check this, and it might not be able to see this if I zoom in maybe. There we go. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off all the colors, and I have this set to bars, so now it shows it all is white. Now, Coming back over here, we have. Uh, all the pixels are turned on, and they look pretty good. I'm thinking, I don't think I need to do any power injections. I want to show you the nice. difference between regular and now power injection. I, I have right here in my hand is a two-core power cord run right from here. And it's connected right into the board on the E682. And just suffice to say that I've got two wires there. This was a quick job. And I'm going to grab a hold of this and, and I'm gonna plug it in. Them up and, you're, and now you can see just a little bit of difference what that one little bit of power injection will actually do for pixels whenever they aren't connected to an injection, an area that needs injection. All right, guys, and it's been a long day, but it's finally complete. Um, I've had a couple things, I've had a couple errors with it. Uh, I'm learning a lot about the GECEs, and one of the things I learned is that uh, as you're adding new pixels in and you, you're uh, soldering them, I test them while they're plugged in, so I make sure that they're working whenever I connect them up. Uh, one of the things I learned was uh, you need to restart the controller uh, and turn off the power, let it stop for a moment, and be off for about 30 seconds, and then restart the controller or you have pixels that like to mirror themselves and that was like a big problem for for about a half an hour I couldn't figure out what was going on and then I realized I didn't map the 682 the correct way and, uh, you know there's always something with pixels uh, whenever you're uh, whenever you're doing this so uh, but here is the final product I mean I still have little things to do these need like tightened down and and adjusted and a couple more zip ties need put in place to make sure that everything stays nice and solid but uh, for the most part, the, uh, the, the whole project is done. Um, there is, like I showed you before, there is one power injection, and that's right here. And uh, it's working fine with, with just the one power injection. So um, I did take the time to do a sequence. And um, I'm glad I did because I think that it came out really, really nice. It kind of demonstrates what this thing can do. And I probably spent maybe 20 minutes just making the sequence, so um, it was harder to make the timing marks for it than anything. But here, here's a go-ahead at it. I hope you enjoy. Talk to you later.